Okay, welcome to example sheet two, question two. Um, consider a 300 kilojoule per minute refrigeration system operating on the ideal vapor compression refrigeration cycle, refrigerant 134A as a working fluid. Refrigerant enters the compressor as saturated vapor at 140 kilopascals and is compressed to 800 kilopascals. Show the cycle on the TS diagram. Well, basically what this is saying is, if we consider the process first, you have a compressor. Yeah, where there is compressed to 100, 800 kilopascals, passes into a condenser, and then is throttled before finally evaporated. So, it's quite simply, this is point 0.2, point 0.3, and this is point 0.4. Um, drawing this on the TS diagram, of course you'll be able to do this neater. Saturation line like this, where this particular point is point 0.1, process 1 to 2. It's isentropic, which means there's no change in entropy. Plus this point two, passing down now to point three, before finally down to point four, which is here. And of course, there's an isentropic point there for S. QH is leaving between points 2 and 3 during the condenser. This is the heat projected to the environment. QL from points 1 to 4 during the evaporator. This is the heat, reject, uh, the heat removed from the cold space. And of course the compressor is driven by that 300 kilojoule per minute refrigeration unit which is of course W in. Recall from the EG161 thermodynamics one notes, during the vaporization process, a substance exits as part of a liquid vapor. The quality X is used to represent these proportions. Something to consider is why do we want high quality refrigerant? So after throttling at point four, we know that the quality of refrigerant X4 is equal to H4 minus HF floor, uh, the entropy of the fluid, HF divided by HFG at point 4, where HF4 is a saturated fluid. Four. at a pressure equal to 0.14 megapascals. So that from here. And HFG is a saturated liquid vapor at a pressure of 0.14 MPA as well. So using table A12, you'll see that HF4 is equal to 27.08 kilojoules per kg, and HFG, the mixture, at 4 is equal to 212.08 kilojoules per kg. Processed. 3 to 4 is isenthalpic. What does this mean? Well, it means enthalpy is constant, so H3 is equal to H4. And H4, of course, equal to H3, is a saturated liquid HF at pressure of 0.14 MPa. From chart A12, you'll see that H4 
into H3, ninety-five point four seven kilojoules per kg. So we can calculate the quality x at point four using this calculation. Quality x at four is equal to naught point three two two five. Okay, so having found uh, part A, uh, we're now looking for part B, the coefficient of performance. So COP of the refrigerator, and this is given on the data sheet, where QL, as we know, we showed on earlier, H1 minus H4. So this is the heat removed during the evaporation stage over W in, which is the work into the compressor, which is the mass flow rate H2 minus H1. You can see the mass flow rate therefore cancels. And we know H4, previously calculated to be 95.47. H4 is known. Um, H1, we can quite easily calculate using chart A12. H1 is equal to that vapor Hg at pressure 0.14 MPa. Looking at the chart, you'll see that it's 239.16 kilojoules per kg. So now we found H1 and H4. Um, what's left to find is H2. And what we know is S1 is equal to S2 because it's isentropic compression from points 1 to 2. So therefore, S1 is equal to S2, which is equal to Sg at 0.14 MPa, which equals 0.94456 kilojoules per kg Kelvin. Then looking at point 2, you'll see that S2 is greater than uh, Sg at 0.8 megapascals. Therefore, from this, we know that the fluid is superheated. And the chart we need to use is chart A13, superheated refrigerant. So you now need to interpolate to find the value of H2 using the values that we know, which can be quite simply done by the equation shown in the previous video, subbing those values into the, equa uh, into the equation, or using a similar method, you will find H2 is equal to 257.39 kilojoules per kg. Now we have the required values to find the coefficient of performance. Uh, for the refrigerator, we have H1, we also have H4, and we have H2, and we have H1, of course. So simply plug in these values, and you'll find that the COP refrigerator is equal to 3.99. Finally, for part C, we're interested in the power input to the compressor, and this can quite it simply be calculated since we know COP refrigerator is equal to QL divided by WN. We know that we can rearrange this equation quite simply because we have the coefficient of refrigerator. We know that converting that given value 300 kilojoules per minute into kilowatts. Uh, which essentially kilojoules per second, you'll see that it's 5 divided by 3.99 and the power input to the compressor is 1.25 kilowatts.